Well, welcome back everyone here to Live Now from Fox. We appreciate you joining us here and uh, always give me the top stories and headlines from across the country. Our next story, really two stories. It's uh, this media meltdown that we are seeing with ABC News and, and CNN over uh, uh, two key people uh, in their network here. So let's go out to uh, um, CMZ's Michael Babcock with the very latest. Michael, thanks so much for always joining us here on Live Now from Fox. Let's start with uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, hey, Mike, thanks for having me. No problem, no problem. Let's start yeah. with Whoopi, suspended uh, for two weeks after her uh, uh, Holocaust comments. Yeah, look, uh, comments made on The View on Monday by Whoopi Goldberg uh, were, uh, as you would expect, not received well by a lot of people. Uh, she was talking about the Holocaust, and um, Whoopi said that the Holocaust was not about race. Uh, that, that's a quote. She said it was about um, man's inhumanity towards fellow man. And she made the comments, and uh, like, like I said, uh, there was backlash. So Whoopi comes out with an apology. Then, though, Mike, she goes on Stephen Colbert's show and seems to double down on her original comments despite the apology that she had just given hours earlier. So she makes the comments on Colbert's show, and then the outrage uh, just is, is ratcheted up tenfold. And uh, last night, ABC News, uh, their president comes out and says, uh, because of the, uh, the wrong and the hurtful comments, that Whoopi Goldberg has been suspended for two weeks now. Whoopi signed a pretty lucrative contract and extension last year. So I, I didn't think that they were going to let go of her, but uh, she will sit on the bench for the next two weeks and then presumably... Assuming that this doesn't get any worse and, and uh, you know, the, the outrage is sort of stemmed in a way here, I expect that Whoopi would be back on the show, uh, you know, co-hosting with the other women. Yeah, that, that was some uh, major news there, but a lot of people still saying, okay, I, why wasn't she fired here? How are they able to, to hold on to her and how come there's not these big protests that uh, we're, we're seeing that might have happened if someone else had said, said something like this? Right, Mike, and we're, look, we are seeing, uh, you know, such a high rate of anti-Semitism across the country, and it, it's been a problem, but it certainly remains a problem now, and look, I think in, in elementary school, I think a lot of us learned this, uh, you know, the Jews were exterminated by Hitler and by, you know, Nazi Germans because he believed, uh, you know, because of this ideology that Jews were, a, quote unquote, an inferior race, so it very much was about race, and I believe that most people know that obviously Whoopi Goldberg is a woman who's in her 60s. She's got a lot of life experience. She says she didn't know, said she did not uh, uh, intend to offend anybody, but there, there was offense taken. And, uh, and, and I understand why, rightfully so. Absolutely. All right. Let's go to the other uh, big story uh, that happened in C CNN earlier this morning. Uh, really, uh, Donald Trump's yeah. best friend, right? Jeff Zucker? <laughs> I, I I know you can you can picture Donald Trump probably doing backflips uh, at, at Mar-a-Lago right now. But uh, Jeff Zucker, who was the uh, the boss over at CNN after nine years, is out. And what's what's uh, I, I'm not going to say funny, but perhaps ironic is that he was actually a he was he was uh, kind of collateral damage from the Chris Cuomo investigation. So while that investigation was going on, and obviously Chris Cuomo was fired in December, while that investigation was going on, Mike, it was revealed, and Jeff Zucker admitted it, that he was having a romantic relationship with a subordinate. Now, uh, it's another high-powered person. It's the, uh, the chief marketing officer, executive vice president, but nonetheless, somebody that reported to Jeff Zucker uh, says that they had uh, known each other, they'd worked together for 20 plus years, but during COVID, the relationship turned romantic and he failed to disclose that to the company. That is CNN's policy. So because at least this is the reason that we are being told, uh, because he did not disclose it initially, he has chosen to resign. So again, after nine years of very tumultuous, a rocky nine years, not the greatest ratings as we know, Jeff Zucker is out and uh, now they look for a new president. Yeah, and as, as that search uh, goes on and really just uh, starting now, how did it, it come out now? Uh, w wasn't there some sort of maybe earlier this year even rumblings of this relationship? So why why, why do you think it's coming out this week yeah. here? R right. I, look, I, I'd be guessing, Mike, but I was, I was wondering the same thing. You know, I, I had heard rumors, and I think people had said so much on social media, speculated that there might be something going on. So, right, why now, months after those conversations happened, why does this come out on, 
on some seemingly ordinary Tuesday. It's um, I, I wish I had the answer to that. Perhaps it comes out, uh, you know, in the wake of the firing or the resignation, I should say. Uh, but but yeah, a little the timing seems a little bit odd. We also know there's the there's the, uh, the you know, the power changing with discovery people coming in. So there is a, a lot going on at CNN right now. And I don't know that if this hadn't happened, Jeff Zucker might have been out sometime soon anyway. Yeah, and lastly, you wonder uh, if there's going to be any more fallouts from Cuomo. Yeah, sure. It was a it was a very it was a, a wide ranging investigation, and and right, you wonder if there's any other prominent people at the network, whether it be executives or or fellow hosts, who um who who also might have something like this come out. I'm sure they're hoping not, but it wouldn't shock me if, if that happened. They they uh, there was a, a pretty thorough investigation done into Chris Cuomo. Uh, back in December. All right, Michael Babcock with TMZ. Thank you so much for always breaking it down for us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Mike. Yep, no problem, no problem. And uh, for all other uh, media news, we'll, of course, uh, follow it for you right here on Live Now from Fox.